Right, the first question then, uh, question seven of 2006, this is part two of uh, the other movie, is that we have a number of rings. There are five rings, and we call this figure number one. <coughs> the number of rings is uh, using the symbol R for rings, and the number of intersection points is using the symbol S. And what have they told you beside that? Well, they've told you that in figure number one, there are five rings and eight intersection points, which we can count. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And in figure number two, there are seven rings and there are 12 intersection points. In figure number three, there would be nine rings and 16 intersection points. And it says, how many rings will there be in figure number 10? So we're looking and trying to identify rings. Well, the easiest way to get figure number 10 is if we could work out what the formula was for number of rings. And there's always a simple formula. If we can see here that the number is increasing by the same each time, we can see that we've got a constant here of plus 2. That the formula for number of rings will be the... Uh, increase interval, because it's constant, times the figure number n plus the start number, which is actually how many rings were there in figure 0. In figure number 5, in figure number 1, we have 5 rings. If we imagine that we went from figure number 1 to this imaginary start number in figure number 0, what would we do? Here we were adding 2, so to go back 1, we'd have to take away 2, and it would give us 3 rings. So in figure number 0, we're adding 2 rings each time. So this one is figure number 0. We're starting with 3 rings. It's our starting number. So the formula for number of rings is our increase in value, which is two lots of n, because it's increasing with two each time, plus our start number, plus three. So now working out how many rings in figure number 10 is quite easy. Rings in figure number 10 is going to be two times the value of n, plus three. So we get 20 plus three, which equals 23. There are 23 rings in figure number 10. Not only have we worked out the number of rings quite easily, we now have this very useful formula for the number of rings, which I'm sure will be useful to us at some point. Uh, whoops, that was n. On R is 2n plus 3. Then it says, in figure number 2, there are 12 intersection points, and we can count them, and there are 12. Um, no, sorry, I missed B. Keller says that he can calculate the number of rings with the formula 2n plus 3. Let's make figure number 4. Draw figure number 4 and show that Keller's formula is so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven rings here. In figure number four, we would have 11 rings, and we would expect the number of intersect points, which have been increasing by four each time, to increase by four, we'd expect 20. So if we do, if we draw the 11 rings of figure number four, one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Uh, there are eleven rings, and the number of intersection points will be that there are two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, uh, twenty. So there were there are eleven rings. There are eleven rings minus one times by four. So we, so we have sh uh, shown it, so for B, yes, 11 rings gives 20 intersection points. 
And what we should really do in our sketch there, to show that, we should actually circle or put a cross into all of the intersection points, showing that you've really understood the question, and say, see from my sketch, count the crosses, equals the number of intersection points. Okay? Then in question C, uh, it says, in figure number 2, there are 12 intersection points. How many will there be in figure number 6? Well, in the same way that we worked out for the rings, we can use the same method for the number of intersection points. We'll have the increase interval, which in this case, instead of it being plus 2 each time, it's plus 4, times the figure number, plus our start number, the number of intersection points at figure number 0. If we go back, we can see that from each one we were increasing by 4, so go back to figure number 0, we'd be subtracting 4. This would give us 4 intersection points at our starting number. It would give us plus 4. And the increase is 4n, 4 each time. So our formula for intersection points will be 4n plus 2. The question is, how many intersection points will there be for figure number 6? Well, when n equals 6, s equals 4 times 6 plus 4, which is 6 fours are 24, plus 4, 28. So there will be 28 intersection points. And don't forget to answer the question. There will be 28 intersection points. Don't just write 28 intersection points in figure number 6. And when you've done it like that, you are, uh, have got good explanation as well. Then it says, which formula can you use for intersection points? And explain where you got it from. Well, if you've used this formula, you can explain, this is the formula that I use whenever there is a constant increase between the numbers. But you can always use this formula, the increase interval times the figure number plus whatever the number would have been at the starting number, which would be equivalent to figure number zero. And if you say that, then you would get all the points available there, including the A points. Um, that's, that's one way of doing it. And uh, yeah, I think that's an that's easy way to explain it. 